Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a demo and I call it Miss O's Magic Pitcher. And I'm really bummed out because this is a demo that I've done in class and it's one of my favorite and one of my students' favorite things to do every year because in the past, when we weren't online learning, I did the demo and then my students had to try and figure out how I did it and perform the demo for me. So I'm still gonna do the demo and I still want you guys to figure out how I, do, how I did it Unfortunately, you can't perform the demo for me. So that was the fun part. Um, but I am, I do want you to try and figure out how I did it. And you're gonna report how I set it up on um, a Google form. So what you may wanna do is kind of take little notes for yourself while I do it so that later on you can figure it out. And of course you can watch this video over again too. So what I would do is on a piece of paper, I would maybe just jot down something like this so that you have the cups labeled like one, two, three, and four. And you can write little notes below the cups um, on what happened to each one, maybe like in different steps going downward or something. So it might be helpful to have something like this. But um, anyway, I'm gonna start. Okay, so I have my magic pitcher and um, this pitcher can, change the beverage, the drink that comes out of it. And it was really helpful when I was in college and I was waiting tables and I waited tables at this complete dive. And um, all they served were hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and the only drinks they had were water and pink lemonade. And you know, most of what you get in tips, uh, or most of your wage as a, as a server is in tips. So having really speedy service is good. And there was this one table I had back in college that my magic pitcher came in really handy. And I'm gonna demonstrate for you how handy it was. So there were these four guys at a table and I asked them what they'd like to drink and the first one said he would like water. So I poured him some water. And the second one said he'd like pink lemonade. So I poured him some pink lemonade. First one looked at it and goes, wow, that looks really good. So he changed his mind. So I took both of their glasses back, not really sanitary, but I poured them back in the magic pitcher since no one had had any of it to drink. And I poured them both lemonade. Now the third one looked at theirs and said, eh, I'm gonna have water. So that one had water. Then they looked and go, you know, we're sorry. We changed our mind again. We want the lemonade. Put them back, give them all fresh drinks and poured them all water. And then the very last one, finally I got to him, asked what he'd like to drink and he said pink lemonade. I poured him pink lemonade. Then they all looked at it and went, you know, we're really sorry. We think we actually want the pink lemonade too. So I poured them all back. Gave them all new drinks out of my magic pitcher. And then they were finally all happy. So luckily I had my magic pitcher and I could make those switches on the fly and I got a good tip, but they sure changed their mind a lot. All right, so you guys are going to have to figure out how I did this in that sequence of cup. One, two, three, and four. And the only things I use, and what I wanna say is this is our kickoff to acids and bases unit. So I'll give you a hint. I used a lot of water and I used what's called an indicator. You guys may have experienced them in middle school, but I used an indicator. And that indicator determines whether you're dealing with an acid or a base. And there's more on this in the video lecture. So you may want to watch the video lecture, at least the beginning of it first, before you go and try and plan this out. But here's what you have to solve it. You use drops of hydrochloric acid and it notice that the molarity of each of these is the same. So if you use the same volume of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, you actually have the same number of moles of them because these are in moles per liter. So I used 0.5 molar HCl, 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide, and I used drops of, I, I have phenolphthalein indicator, okay? So I just used drops of these thing, three things, and then of course, lots of water. You're gonna have to figure out where all of these substances go and in what amounts. And then once you figure that out, you can get onto the Google form link 
and um, you can record your answers there. And that's it. Not quite as fun as you guys being able to do it. And mine wasn't perfect, as you guys saw. It was a little bit of a lighter pink in the beginning, but it's the same concept. So yeah, I could have done it a little bit better, but it still worked in terms of pink and clear and pink and clear and all of that. So that's it, you guys. Good luck. Thank you.